Hello? Can you now hear me? Okay, that's good. Let's start. Today, let's discuss the importance of quantitative research. But before that, please see and observe and read okay, the objectives for this week. Now, this week, we discuss quantitative research. We define what is quantitative research, the difference from qualitative, and we also discuss the different types of it. Now, let's have a discussion regarding its importance. Why quantitative research is important? Why do we need to study this? Why do we need to conduct this? So, just to discuss it, let me explain three things. First, when it comes to quantitative research, it gives a specific measurement to something because there are things that we cannot um, or there are things that we need to give a specific measurement. For example, to what extent? Um, how long? Um, what else? Um, Two hours later. To how far? Something and something like that. And here, quantitative research gives connection to our empirical observations with our mathematical expressions. And that is the first importance of quantitative research. Second, it is more reliable. Why? Why is it more reliable? Because quantitative research, this kind of study, it, it conducts several deep retesting of hypotheses. We test our theories, our hypotheses, and it is a trial and error. Okay? It is a trial and error. Unlike with qualitative, we are just um, interviewing someone and then we interpret their answers, their data. But here, in quantitative, we need to test because we need to have an exact data, an, an exact answer. And of course, for the third one, since there is retesting, of course, the subjectivity, the influence of the researcher in this study, this kind of study, is being lessened. And that is the uh, basic, three basic importance of quantitative research. Now, to what extent, to what extent quantitative, uh, the importance of quantitative research in our life? Maybe you haven't realized it yet, but in quantitative research, it is important across different discipline studies. So we have here communication, we have here in medicine, we have in behavioral science, and also it is important, quantitative research is important in education and psychology. And let me discuss it one by one. First, in communication. Qualitative research gives understanding to particular communication phenomena that might be generalized to a larger, larger population. For example, we have here what communication behaviors are used to respond to co-workers displaying emotional stress. So to answer that, we need to know to what extent, uh, how severe the level of this behavior of someone. That's why. Um, that's why other people is being affected and with the research, quantitative research, it will be answered. Another. Another. We have as well in medicine. It is important because in medicine, in the field of medicine, in the field of science, we conduct testing, we conduct 
examinations, we conduct experiments. And in quantitative research, one thing that you have to do is to experiment, to do some experimentation. For example, um, we have here a research design that may enhance the quality of medical education. It can be uh, treating disease, it can be um, founding new cure to something like in COVID. Right, okay. Uh, having uh, treatment or producing vaccine in COVID. Quantitative research is being used. Aside from that, when it comes to behavioral science, it is um, it plays a role as determiner. Why? Why determiner? Because it determines how human behavior relates with other people, and of course, how individual the differences of individual may affect human relations. Just like what I said um, in communication, it is somewhat connected and similar. For example, here we have the parental attachment during childhood and autonomic adolescence. By this example, um, with the use of quantitative research, we can now determine to what extent or uh, to what extent the connection of the, of the parent and child and its effect to the individuality or the independence of the children. And for the last one, it is important in education and psychology. Why? Because with the use of quantitative research, it creates educational paradigm. It creates, um, it produces principles that will be helpful in the field of education and psychology. For example, the usefulness of homework in primary education. To have this data, to have, to have an answer to this kind of research question or research topic, we need to undergo um, testing. We will test whether the homework should be implemented. And these are a uh, few, few, uh, few relevance of our quantitative research and I guess um, by now we can now understand why why quantitative research is important why do we need to study this why do we need to understand quantitative research and why should uh, as well uh, consider uh, conducting quantitative research and for more questions please uh, give me, give, please leave a message, okay, please leave a message, and I will flash here my email. Once again, good day everyone, good day ambassadors, and see you next meeting, goodbye.